Hello Mzansi and welcome to Mzansi. The issue of electricity supply in South Africa has long been a topic of controversy with many people pointing to corruption and mismanagement as the root causes of the country's persistent power problems. However, the electricity minister has recently pushed back against these claims, arguing that the issue of the Kusile power station in Pumalanga are primarily technical in nature. He has pointed to the structure and design issues as the primary causes of the problems at the station and has emphasized that the government is working to address these issues through significant modifications and improvements to the power station's infrastructure. He has also emphasized the importance of engaging with labor to ensure that workers are fully informed about the issues and have a say in the solutions being implemented. While the minister's comments have been welcomed by some as a necessary counterpoint to the prevailing narrative of corruption and mismanagement, others have criticized his claims as overly simplistic and dismissive of a larger systemic issue that contributes to the country's power problems. Critics argue that while technical issues may be a contributing factor to the current electricity crisis, they are far from from the only problems, corruption, mismanagement, and a lack of investment in power generation capacity have all contributed to the country's ongoing electricity wars and must be addressed if South Africa is to build a reliable, sustainable energy infrastructure for the future. Ultimately, the question of what is causing South Africa's electricity problems is a complex and multifaceted one and requires a nuanced understanding of various factors at play. While technical issues may be a contributing factor, it's important to also consider the role of corruption, mismanagement, and broader systemic issues in shaping the country's energy landscape.